I'm standing on the wing of an Air New Zealand Boeing 747, a jumbo jet. It's nearly as long as a soccer ground and about twice as wide. Now, just as mum and dad need to take the family car in for a service every 5,000 kilometres, so this plane needs to come into the hangar for a service every three weeks. Right now, there are more than 50 technicians and engineers working on and around the plane. But that's not all. After 6,000 hours flying time, each of the jet engines is pulled down completely and checked. I'm standing inside the front part of a Rolls-Royce RB211 turbofan engine. That's the front row of blades, the first fan. In fact, there are 14 rows of blades in this engine. Altogether, thousands of parts in the engine. And once panels are removed from the 747, we see an amazing array of pumps, hydraulic pipes and wires. It's thousands of times more complicated than the engine of the family car. And safety is the main concern for Air New Zealand's elaborate servicing program. Now just how big is a Boeing 747? Well, it's big enough to carry 417 passengers, but how heavy is it? Well, imagine that each of those passengers brought to the airport a family car and lined them up on the runway. The combined weight of those cars would be about 400 tonnes, and the Boeing 747 weighs almost that amount. Well, all kinds of specialised instruments are used to check out the engine and the other parts, including optical devices, similar to the arthroscopic device that's used in knee operations. And the plane has 16 main tyres, each one nearly as high as you and heavier than a very fat man. To fill up the 747 with fuel costs about $30,000, far more than the $20 or $30 that mum or dad might take when they fill the family car. And the 747 burns up enough fuel in one second to keep the family car running for about half an hour. The complexity of the 747 arises because it's not only an aircraft, not only a flying machine for passenger transport, but also it has to fulfil the roles of a hotel, a restaurant and also an entertainment centre. You've seen the service section of the local garage and the spare parts. Well, at Air New Zealand's engineering base, there are more than 116,000 different parts, including spare jet engines, each one worth $4.5 million. And inside the cabin, it's incredibly complex. There's enough carpet inside the cabin of a 747 to cover all the floors of 13 average houses. And those carpets have woven within them special wires to carry all the electricity. 